you know what? Reserve yung mga Pinoy. Yun yung pinapakita nila. But I feel like ang dami rin Pinoy talaga na highly sexual, pero hindi lang nila mapakita sa society. I've been through a lot of painful experiences in my life and dahil sa mga painful experiences and tra- really traumatic experiences, I started my journey in personal development and then dating coaching and then women empowerment, all those personal spirituality, lahat lahat na psychology and everything. And then when I feel ko na na, ah, buo na yung buo na yung nalalaman ko about this. I used to be I used to also come from a place of very disempowered, you know. I was living my life na pinipleased ko yung people around me. I was always self-sacrificing. I was always betraying myself to please everybody else around me kasi natatakot ako iwan nila ako, natatakot nila ako, natatakot ako, hindi ko sila mapiplease, iiwan nila ako, mga ganon. So, um, with yung mga natutunan ko recently, this past how many years, naisip ko, somebody has to share this to the world, to, to, to the universe rather. <laughs> I mean, yung yun, yung mga empowerment na ganoon to making sexual choices, love choices, relationship choices. You know, we don't need to I feel like we don't a lot of us there's what you call social conditioning. A lot of us living our lives based on kung anong na socially conditioned tayo to do. Dapat mag-asawa ka, gumraduate ka sa 21, mag-asawa ka sa 25, mag-anak ka gan ganoon. But what if that's not in integrity with yourself, you know? So, yeah, that's that's what I That's what started my journey. A lot of painful experiences and a lot of feeling like something's not right. You know, some I, something did not sit well with me. So yeah, so yeah, yun na yung na naisip ko um is share, which is yeah, being in integrity with yourself and making choices from a place of because ito yung gusto ko. Mm-hmm. And kung di niyo to gusto, fuck you. I don't care. Hindi ako takot na abandon like mm-hmm. before. In the right people for me will be there for me kahit ginagawa ko yung gusto ko. Something like that. Actually, before before starting the one with the witches, I started my own podcast before. And I started it because I have these young girls, like, you know, always talking to me and always like, um, basically, I'm just a big ate to them. And that's when I realized na some girls need an ate for for like you know to guide them if no one's like talking to them about um things sensitive things and stuff so yeah so j- it's just an experience of younger girls wanting to have some kind of like an outlet or an advisor to the things that they don't understand and and they can't talk about to other people You know what? Reserve yung mga Pinoy. Yun yung pinapakita nila. But I feel like ang dami rin Pinoy talaga na highly sexual. Pero hindi lang nila mapakita sa society. They're not accepting it. They're not owning it. Because parang sa society sa Philippines, medyo, medyo condition tayo na oh, dapat conservative ka. Huwag kang ganto, Huwag kang ganyan. Huwag kang magdamit ng sexy. Eh, paano kung gusto mo yun? Diba? What if? What if? You want to explore your sexuality. What if you want to really want to do things? But kapa na buhay sa mundo tong di mo magagawa yung gusto mo, di ba? So, <laughs> so, I um, yung sex life ng Pinoy na dapat pinag-usapan. I think yung uh more of sexual choices, making sexual choices na gusto mo talaga and with no apology. Wala kang walang shame, walang guilt and walang apology you do what you want to do with that topic um i think it's important to talk about especially like you know like how our filipina women kumpano like i paano nila ya accept being conservative and still being sexual and embracing their sexuality because to be honest as i always say 
sexual energy is one of the most powerful and one of the most moving energy everywhere. So as a human and as like an like as a human being, we have to accept na meron tayo noon. We are sexual being. We have to own it. But we have to use it in a way na we are not going to have regret. You know, just like be free, own it if you love sex. Just be love, love sex responsible. Respo- be responsible about it. That's it. <laughs>